Video number five, managing Google My Business. Since Google is the first place your customers go to source information about your business, you need to keep your GMB updated with your latest business hours and any other relevant information your customers might need. In this video, we teach you step-by-step -step how to manage your GMB profile. Add or change your hours on Google My Business. Using Google My Business, you can let customers know when your business location is open. To add or change your business hours on Google, sign into your GMB account and click the Info tab from the menu. On your info page, look for the Add Hours options or the section showing your current operating hours. Click on the Hours icon, which resembles a clock. Click on the days that your location is open to customers. For each day that you are open, select the opening and closing hours. Finalize the hours by clicking Apply. Add holiday hours on Google My Business. You can also indicate holidays hours for each location. To do so, sign in to Google My Business. If you have multiple locations, open the location you'd like to manage. On the Info tab, click the Special Hours section. You'll only see this section if you already provided regular hours. Click Confirm Hours next to an upcoming holiday or click Add New Date to choose a different date. Enter the opening and closing times for that day. Select Close to indicate that the location is closed all day. If you're open 24 hours, click Opens At and select 24 hours from the drop-down menu that appears. If you enter closing hours past midnight, make sure to set them properly. When you've finished entering all your special hours, click Apply. Your special hours will appear to customers on Google only for the designated days. It's a good idea to confirm your hours for official holidays, even if those hours are the same as your regular hours. This way, you'll make it clear to customers that your holiday hours are accurate. Keep in mind that special hours can only be entered if you've already provided regular hours. Google My Business Posts To create and publish Google My Business Posts, sign in to Google My Business. If you have multiple locations, open the location you'd like to manage. Currently, posting is only available for individual business locations, which means that you cannot post content in bulk. You'll have to create and post location-level content for each location you're managing on Google My Business. Click Posts from the menu. The Create Post screen appears. Choose which type of post you'd like to create from the following options – Update, Event, Offer, or Product. Add photos, videos, text, events, or offers to your post. Click Preview to see a preview of your post. If you're happy with your preview, click Publish in the top right corner of the screen. If you'd like to change your post, click back on the top left of the screen to continue editing your draft until it's ready to publish. Add the Google My Business Bookings feature. Google My Business also has a bookings feature called Reserve with Google that allows businesses that use a supported scheduling partner to see insights and other information on the bookings received from Google. The bookings feature is available in the U.S. for restaurants and businesses in the fitness or beauty vertical that use a supported scheduling partner. If it is available, go to the home menu for a listing and look for the bookings card. Here is a list of Google's booking or scheduling partners. To add this feature to your Google My Business account, sign in to Google My Business. For brands with multiple locations, click on the specific location to activate bookings for it. Click on the Bookings option within that location and sign up with the booking provider of your choice. Sign up with the provider of your choice. Within one week, your scheduling account is automatically linked to your Google My Business account. Generate leads using Google My Business. Connect to Google My Business with Google Analytics. If you have multiple locations, make sure each location's website link sends users to the page for that specific location and not your brand's homepage. Add a UTM parameter to track the traffic coming to your website through your GMB listing. Optimize a listing for lead capture by including, if possible, integrations for making reservations, placing an order, scheduling an appointment. Make sure the website you link on your listings is optimized to convert GMB traffic 
by including multiple calls to action including setting a reservations, contact you, visit the business, track the leads through GMB Insights with specific metrics such as number of web visitors getting in directions to your business, number of phone calls, turn on messaging and chat with customers. Google My Business allows you to chat directly with customers who find your business listing on Google Search. Responding to customers can help you answer their questions, tell your business's story, and attract more people to your location. Please note that messaging or chatting with customers is a new Google My Business feature that's currently available in select countries. Turn on messaging via SMS. Turn on messaging with customers. Sign in to Google My Business and look for the Messages card in the Home menu. Click on the Settings button within the Messages tab to turn messaging on or off. For new GMB users, just click the Turn on Messaging option. Questions and Answers As the Listings Manager, you have the most reliable answers to your customers' questions, so it makes sense that you will want to be the one to receive and respond to these questions every time someone sees your business information on Google. With Google My Business Questions and Answers, you can ask or answer questions from any device and from Google Maps on Android devices. Unfortunately, listing managers don't get any notification letting them know when there are new questions being asked about a location. That means you'll have to stay vigilant and check your listings as they appear on Google or look inside your GMB info for each location to see if there are any new Q&As. To check for any new Q&As and to answer any outstanding questions. In the info card for the place on the right, under questions and answers, click see all questions. Next to the question, click answer. To edit or delete your answer, click more and then click edit or delete. The person who asked will get a notification after you've answered. Fix incorrect business information on Google. Ensuring that your business information on Google is accurate and up-to-date should be part of your online marketing and a local search strategy. A simple search can help you quickly identify any inaccuracies or incorrect information about your business online. To fix your business information on Google, add your business listing, verify your business, edit your business information. Once you've added and verified a listing, editing your listing should be as simple as clicking the pencil icon in the info section for each listing. If you've begun the verification process and need to fix incorrect business information while waiting for your verification postcard to arrive, you can also report a problem in Google Maps. Managing reviews on Google. According to online review statistics, Google is now the number one review site, outpacing other business review sites like Yelp, TripAdvisor, and Facebook in terms of growth and online reviews. Google reviews significantly influence the way customers think about your business. These reviews can also help or hinder your local search ranking. By keeping a close eye on your reviews on Google, you can showcase your business in the best possible light and minimize the impact that any negative opinion might have on your business. By managing your Google My Business listing correctly, you can showcase your business in the best possible light and boost your brand reputation. Follow these steps to manage your GMB listing in the most efficient way. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.